Hey there, Jordan here from Vend. In this video, we're going to be covering how you should be editing your Vend products that are currently published to Shopify. Once your Vend account is integrated with your Shopify account, Vend becomes and acts as the system of record. This means that if you ever wish to make an edit to a product that is published to Shopify, that edit needs to be done directly in Vend. As soon as any product change is made in Vend, we will automatically sync that change to the Shopify counterpart. A product change will be classified as the following. The product is saved in the edit product page, a product CSV is imported, a product is sold, an exchange or refund is made against a product, or an inventory count, stock order, stock transfer, or stock adjustment is completed. Almost all of your product's information will be managed directly in Vend. The following product information that you can see on the screen now should be edited in Vend only. I recommend pausing the video here for a brief moment to review them. Even though the rule of thumb is that Vend is the system of record, there are a few things that can and need to be edited directly on Shopify. Those things are the following. Images and image SEO, supply price, collections, shipping weight, and compare at price. With Vend being the system of record, if you were to edit product information directly on Shopify outside of those listed exceptions, it may cause an issue with the sync with Vend. When a product is published from Vend to Shopify for the first time, we will publish the product with the primary image attached. This is the only time that we will sync an image from Vend to Shopify. If you were to import your products from Shopify into Vend, we will not import the images with the products. After your products are imported or published, images need to be managed separately on each platform going forward. Vend product images are typically smaller in size as they are often used as thumbnails, so, if you prefer a larger or higher quality image, you will need to upload that image to the product directly on Shopify. The state of a Vend product also impacts the product's availability on Shopify. If the product is set to active in Vend, then the product will be available on the online sales channel on Shopify. If a product is set to inactive, the product will be hidden from your online store. There are two additional things to keep in mind. The first is that you are unable to have a product available in Vend, but unavailable on Shopify or vice versa. The state of your products must match in both platforms. The second is that you are unable to have specific variants hidden from Shopify. If you make a single variant inactive in Vend, it will still be available on Shopify for sale. Here's a few other things we think you should know. Bulk edits to your products in Vend made via CSV imports, inventory counts, or stock orders may take some time to update on Shopify. Every single Shopify account has a rate limit enforced. That rate limit controls the number of requests made per second to that account. To work around this, we recommend making updates to your Vend products in smaller batches. We recommend not updating your products in Shopify using CSV imports. The reason we recommend that is that the CSV imports may change the IDs that we use to link products from Vend to Shopify, meaning the link could be broken. We recommend that you take a CSV backup of both Vend and Shopify product lists before making any large changes to your products. Finally, Avoid using third-party plugins on Shopify that have the permission to modify your products. Apps that have this permission could get into a battle with Vend attempting to update product information. Thanks for watching and listening. Check out our channel for other videos related to the Vend Shopify integration.